Tofini and Estina. I come from a small village called Achamafusu in the eastern region, a suburb of Nkoko. Um, the first one of five siblings. I didn't have anything to start up with. So I was talking, I, I spoke with one or two people so that I can get uh, more small business to start up with. So at first I was sitting in my room. I used to have this little machine that I used to, I used to do one or two inside my room at one corner. So it gets to a time that people are not willing to come to my room anymore. Because, you know, sometimes when they come to your room, they feel like you're not serious. Someone will talk to you, coming to see you, and then when they come, they'll feel like, ah, can this person do my work for me very well? So I thought of that as well, and then I spoke to a friend. And then he also recommended me to someone who offered me a shop. So through then, that's where it all started. Okay, challenges. <laughs> it hasn't been easy. <laughs> in fact, I was sewing in my room, a small corner beside my bed. So it wasn't easy. People wouldn't want to come inside your room. But someone who call you wanted to sew. Indeed, your works are beautiful. So when they see you, they always want to come. And then they will come and you're taking them to a small corner. So some will come and might not come again. So I decided to find a shop. <laughs> but through that, what money am I going to use to rent a shop? Shops in Accra were very expensive. I won't lie to you. So I spoke to a friend. And then this friend recommended me to a man. He used to sew. But he wasn't really into it again. So he decided to give me a shop. Getting a shop, I thought my problem was solved. But not knowing, <laughs> that was the worst moment of my life, in fact. <laughs> After getting the shop, starting with work, I realized all the machines in there wasn't working as I was told. So I had to fix the machine and fix myself as well. Even I wasn't having money to rent a shop, not to talk of fixing anything. But with gradually, I fixed it. And then I started working. Throughout the working space, you told me the shop was for free for some time. But later on, I realized, no, it wasn't for free. <laughs> I'm supposed to pay something every month to this one. And then... He did not actually give me a fixed price. So I'm supposed to be cracking my mind and be saying something. But whatever amount that I said to this man wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. At a point, the machine broke down again. And then I told him, he should allow me to bring in a new machine. He said, no, fix the machine for me. He said, fix it. So I, I tried my best to fix one. And I was working with it. It wasn't easy at all because I have four siblings that I have to take care of. My parents could help, but they don't have the means to. So it was, they were all depending on me. And then trouble from this side and trouble from that side was very hectic. So I was, when I, when I completed the fashion school, in fact, I didn't know where to start and how to start. One day I was sitting and I decided to start something later. So I went to my hometown, picked the machine that I used to, <laughs> the machine that I used to sew back then. And then I brought it here. So I started sewing in my corner, one corner. It was a manual one. But then I didn't have any money to buy an industrial machine. So my works were beautiful. Someone will call you 
I want to come and serve with you. I've, I, someone recommended you to me, so I want to come and serve with you. But when the person comes, sometimes the person will be discouraged, seeing her walk inside your door to your room. It was a very sad situation. So some of them, when they go, they don't return. Consistency. Consistency. That's a key word. I would say whatever journey that you start, you should be consistent. I think that one will take you far. So if you want to start your own business as a fashion designer, I was taught in school that you don't need a huge amount to start a business. You can start on the table, you can start in your room, like my story. And then please, you need to do with your time. You need to be fair with the people you're working with. Please, why you... <laughs> you need to be deliver, like you need to deliver on time. When you tell someone today your dress will be ready, please try and get it done for the person. And then you need to focus on your business. It's not always about money. Try and be perfect with your work. Fashion industry, is it profitable? Yes, it is very, very profitable. Oh, yeah, say, ube ye dedicated because my film baby and I'm a fee ban on any hand I'm over but see ya my fee baby and I HM say me me for machines yeah may I say may I say and then me and Casa I've been able to get my own shop buy my own machines and then I'm working with it I'm still on it and taking your time I was so unfocused and learn new things Learn new things because I know they be a new things a bad system new. And to know someone is saying new things, uh, you be let you be set back. Social media influence my business. In fact, social media influence my business a lot. Make I say me free school about you know, Africa fashion school about you know. My one of my teacher always tells me whatever that you have on social media now, anything you're posting on social media should be your work and your designs, nothing else. And to say ne. Oh, I can't be a house area. I beg you, go and delete that account. Put up your business there and then advertise it. And then I took that advice very well. So, me Bafina, the first thing I did is to change my name on Instagram. And then I wrote in a sign design. From then, I decided to market my design, put out my business over there. And then, one thing I always do is to advertise it too on WhatsApp. WhatsApp status, I do update my status every day. I'm also on Pinterest. Pinterest too is helping me a lot. And through that people see it, I recommend my business to others. That is how social media is influencing my business. Yes, I take trainees. I train six months, one year and then one and a half year. At first, I didn't want to take trainees. But later, I decided to, in fact, I started with one person and then the other. And then later, I got three. So, <laughs> it's because I wanted to work on my own. But I realized, you know, moving on, and you know, things are changing. And then the work is becoming more attractive. So, I need more hands. So I decided to take trainees. I'll train them, and then Obi Obi Obese Obese on Boabia for us to work together as a team. Then we do. So that's the more reason why I started taking students. 
unique values when it comes to design designs. I instill in them discipline and then also oneness, togetherness. And then one thing I really appreciate is the finishing. You can sew a full dress, but if your finishing is not good, in fact, no one will like your dress. Someone might be ignorant, but not always. Not everyone. So that is the main value when it comes to nesting designs. When it comes to nesting designs, you don't really need a background. That one is not bad at all. If you have any background of visual art or when you are in school, you did a form of technical skills. It's a no problem, but you don't have to really have um, a certain qualification for you to be trained. That is, that is why we are training over here. We train for you to become. Okay, for now, ne man ya man kwa na ye ye. Se, u ya bewe manan pe se un sun ya e ma, an ya ma pam non kwa. U beti mi ya ba. Feature of next time. I said I want to build an industry, in fact, that's my biggest dream. I want to build an industry. <laughs> my name is Okuni Enestina, CEO of Next Time Designs. Next Time Designs is located at Madina Firestone. Beside the Koban, opposite the full bay, I'm at the second floor of a white story building. My telephone number, which you can reach me on, is 0540-630-697. And then 0240-814-009. Social media handles, I'm on Instagram as nestine underscore designs. Pinterest, nestine 10. TikTok, Next Time 10. Facebook, Next Time Designs. Please contact Next Time Designs for all your occasion designs and be rest assured that you will get a perfect design for your occasion. Thank you.